Welcome to my personal computer desk. Uh, while the desk that you guys normally see me doing a lot of work on is in a, a different room, I do a lot of my early prototyping work right here at this desk. And that's because I like having my full desktop with all of my files saved on it right in front of me so I can reference data sheets or uh, look anything up on the internet if I need to really easily. Uh, but there's kind of a fundamental problem with doing the prototyping here. And well, I think it's best to understand if I just show it to you. So let me demonstrate the problem. Well, well, I think you can see the problem. Uh, it's hugely involved, takes a massive amount of time, and by the time I've got everything set up, uh, I'm, I'm pretty much out of space to actually work on anything. Uh, so I, I've been thinking about it for a while, and I really want to build something that sits underneath my monitor that has essentially all of this built into it. And, I mean, of course, there's not a whole lot of space under there, so the monitor is probably going to have to move up a little bit. But uh, I think that would be really, really cool, and it would make working on things on my desk a lot easier. So I, I think I have a couple of ideas, and so I think we'll hop on the computer, maybe design something, get an idea of where we're headed, and then we'll head out to the garage and start building it. So. Uh, Let's get to work. So the very first step was trying to decide what all I wanted in this unit. And I knew that I wanted an oscilloscope, I wanted a digital multimeter, and I wanted a function generator. And I also wanted 24 volts, 12 volts, and 6 volts available. So once I had an idea of what I wanted, I started searching for an oscilloscope because that being the biggest unit is going to kind of decide where everything else goes. And so I hunted around on eBay and I came across this BK Precision 2120B and it looked like it was low profile enough to really suit my needs. And so I threw out a cheap offer on it and I won it but it was sold as untested. So when it arrived, I knew that something may not work and uh, seeing bad written on the top of it kind of confirmed my fears. Uh, so when I plugged it in and I started looking at it, I, I saw that the vertical axis worked, but the horizontal axis didn't. No matter what button I pushed or knob I turned, I just couldn't get it to sweep from left to right. And so I started really digging into it and trying to troubleshoot it. I couldn't find the exact schematic, so I started trying to reverse engineer it. And while I was in the middle of all this, I, I plugged it in once to test it, and I noticed that if I pushed one of the buttons sideways, it suddenly leapt into life. And so then I looked at that button and I could see that it was just really, really loose. And so it just had a bunch of broken solder joints on the back. So I pulled that board out, flipped it over, re-soldered it, put it all back together, and it worked like a top. It works wonderfully well. This is, it's so awesome. I'm super happy with it and it was a great deal. So now that I had a working oscilloscope, the next step was to find a digital multimeter and a function generator. And since the oscilloscope was made by BK Precision, I thought it would be kind of cool to have a full BK Precision suite of tools here. So I searched for a BK Precision multimeter and a BK Precision function generator, and I came across this 2830 digital multimeter and this 3010 function generator, and that works out great. So now I've got the three primary units for this uh, enclosure that I want to build. Once I had all three units in hand, I sat down and I took some pretty extensive measurements. And I did this so I could start building the entire enclosure in a 3D modeling program called Fusion 360. And my, my first step was to start recreating the three units, which is what you see me doing here. Now I'm pretty terrible at Fusion 360 and I don't ever really use it to create G-code for our CNC machine outside, and I've, I've never 3D printed anything. And so I'm, I mostly just use it 
to visualize an idea that I have in my head. And then once it's all built in here, I can take measure. And here is a finalized view of how I imagined it looking. And this gave me a bunch of measurements so that I could go outside and get to work. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I don't hereby call to order the 103rd meeting of the Batman Mystery Club.
And here we go, it's the finished product on the desk. I am absolutely in love with how it looks. It's organic, it's vintage looking, the wood case looks great on the wood desk, it all kind of fits the theme of the desk really well. And once, once everything's lit up and the oscilloscope's running and the multimeter's on, it looks like this retro sci-fi nerd cockpit. I love it. I'm absolutely in love with it. And so here you can see I've got the uh, signal generator supplying a signal to the scope, and the scope is displaying that. And you can switch between uh, sine wave, square wave, or triangle wave. And uh, you can see here that the multimeter is uh, reading the voltages on the terminals. And we've got uh, 24 volts, 12 volts, and 6 volts here. So to take it for a proper test drive, I actually threw together a real quick little inverting amplifier out of a 6AU6 pentode. And uh, the 6 volt heater is powered by the 6 volt power supply, and the, the 24 volts is running into the plate voltage. And then the signal generator is outputting a, a sine wave that's going into the grid, and that goes from negative to positive, so we've, we've got it going from from cutoff to saturation. And I've got the oscilloscope hooked up to both the grid as well as the output or the the plate so that we can see kind of the difference between the two and you know it's it's all right here at hand i have so much free space to use it but everything's really easy to reach i am i am just <laughs> ecstatic with how this turned out i am super super happy i've got plenty of room for my keyboard and mouse but when i'm not using them they can just slide out of the way and I have all of this extra room to work on stuff. I am, man, I am just, I'm really happy with how this turned out. And it, it was not a short project. It took me a uh, little over a week to build, but I'm, I am just stoked. I am super happy. So uh, I'm gonna keep playing with this. I think it's fantastic. Maybe it'll make some appearances in some uh, future videos while I'm prototyping some stuff. But thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you all in the next episode.